Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of the Age of Decadence. This is Colonel RPG as usual, this here is Klepta, and we're both very happy that he chose to join us today for, uh, well, our first actual free roaming episode of uh, as uh, in a life of a thief and uh, we have a mission we have a mission right now Ooh, what's going on right now you don't s you see a signpost that says don't sell priceless artifacts for nothing come to see fang first yeah that's right so we need to take care of business uh we need to take talk to Cato for more work but first we need to show the map to lore master fang in here and by the way i'm i'm remembering i can go up there I can go up there, but let's not go there right now. Let's let's go in there. Can I can I go in there? Thank you. Even if oh, in the world, in a world on its way downhill, the future lies in preserving the pre-war knowledge. Lore masters, the self-proclaimed experts on the antiquity, are at the front line of this trade, digging through ruins, copying ancient manuscripts, trading bits and pieces of pre-war knowledge, and appraising anything that looks old. So Feng asks, what do I want? Well, what do I want? I want to sell you a map, because I know the map is worthless, I think. At least without whatever. I mean, I have the map. I haven't looked at it. Let me see. So this is the map. Gracious's map. Uh, the map that we got as a lore master. And the map, the map that we stole as a, uh, as a uh, thief. So let me save the game just... Just in case, uh, and let's have a chat with Fang. Fang came to Terran with a caravan two decades ago. Nobody knew where he came from or why, but rapidly he rose to power. Uh, all thanks to, I think, him killing the uh, other lore master that was serving Lord Antidas here before. But that is, that is a story that we already know. What is it? Asks Fang with irritation, acknowledging your presence and putting down some mechanism he was studying. It. He was studying. Oh, so can you appraise something for me? Oh, wise choice. Many people sell very valuable items without realizing their true value. Let me see. This... I can't believe it. It can't be. Feng puts the map down, looking shocked. This, my friend, is an extremely valuable artifact. I'll be honored to research it for you, but it'll cost you five, 50 Imperials. Huh. Well, I remember this line. <laughs> I remember this line. And, um, yeah, he's, he's full of it. He's full of it. Easy there, Feng. Let's leave this valuable artifact act for farmers and discuss a reasonable price here. Feng chuckles. All right, we'll leave the act to four farmers then. It's a very old map of, the, of this region. I wouldn't pay 10 coins for it, but I know someone who will give you at least 100 Imperials. That's what you'll pay me 20 Imperials for. Do we have a deal? Uh, sure. It's your money. Uh... So what else can you tell me about the map? Not much to tell you, to be honest. Feng's smirk suggests that being honest is simply something he isn't good at. The map bears the seal of Thoragoth, the artificer, one of the high lords. I assume that's high temple in the mi that's the high temple in the middle. That's all I can really tell you. Talk to Antidas if you want to know more. So yeah, this is the map of uh, the temple. And we got to see that in our previous playthrough as a, as a lore master and Thoragoth and all that. But if you want to know more about that, go check that playthrough. Uh, but the, uh, just an introduction of... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ask about the High Lords. Yeah, you've heard about the war with the Gantari at least. You know, the one that turned this entire continent into a wasteland? It is said that during the war, both sides summoned supernatural allies from other planes of existence, if you believe in such nonsense. Many lore masters will tell you that the Gantari summoned demons from fiery pits of the underworld, while we, of course, summoned gods from some heavenly abode. But the truth is that nobody knows what really happened. What we do know for sure is that the Empire crumbled and fell, leaving us ruins, a handful of towns, and stories that scare our children with uh, yeah well they apparently from what we found out uh, they didn't really summon gods they basically created them uh, and gods is just another word I suppose for construct or just machines in general fascinating well I'll go to pay Lord Vi Antidas a visit then it goes without saying that if he doesn't pay me I'll be back to finish our conversation Wait, you look like a capable woman. There is a small matter I'd like to talk to you about. Lord Antidas has invited another lore master to Terran. Needless to say, I don't share his opinion that two heads are better than one, and I'll be grateful if you can find a way to get rid of the new lore master. Hmm, <laughs> just like the, l the old one. Huh? Yeah. His name is Cassius. He's probably at the inn already, so don't waste any time. Hmm, how grateful are we talking about? Fifty Imperials. Well, I guess it's a deal. 
Yes, it's a deal. And this time around, I'm a little bit better prepared than I was before with uh, Kato. Kato almost got killed, and he suddenly got his ass kicked to the curb by Cassius. But he, 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 did, he did the thing. He did the thing on the first try as well, which was the only... Actually, it was the only combat that we entered and succeed. And actually, there was another one. Yeah, but Kato wasn't really a guy for, for fighting. Nah, well, let's hope that Klept over here is gonna be a girl for fighting this time around. So, mm, I was I was expecting like a dialogue or something, but no, success, dexterity success, you managed to climb the vine. So what we have up here, besides a nice place to uh, bask in the sunlight, I suppose. Oh, we got a hatch, we got boxes here, the boxes are filled with worthless junk. And we have over on this side a chest, but I, oh, I can't, can I do something with that? What can I do? Oh, can go back down, okay. Okay, let's pick the lock of the hatch and see. Hmm. Good, good, good. Let's keep going. So, what I need is this. No! What's going on? Get out! There's nothing to take here. I'm a poor old man. If not for the kindness of other people, I would have starved to death already. I tell you, this town is something else. They try to rob you in your own home. Now, if you have any money, come back later and I'll... And my, I'm all here's. Otherwise, go waste somebody else's time. Okay, well, I got caught. I kind of wanted to see that map. Let me go see that map. God damn you. I'm not good at sneaking, am I? Do I need to... Let me see. I'm, I'm more or less... I mean, I'm generally not not really awesome. Uh, mm, I, because there's... I can look at that thing. I can't, actually. Mm, that's kind of a shame. I didn't look at anything while I was in there. Okay, well, apparently it turns out that it was absolutely pointless to climb that thing as a lore master. And uh, certainly as a thief, it didn't really pay too well. So, this time around, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? First and foremost, let me check my money. My money. 85, that's not enough. That is not enough for what I wanted to do. Let's approach, let's see. Oh, by the way, I remember. Let's try and be a little bit more risky this time around, because there's a guy here. There's a guy here near the market. Oh, got a merchant over there. Hello. Can I have a chat? Oh, something is going on. Yeah, that's the guy. You are near the market square when a man in rich robes approaches. Basically, what he tells me... Uh, yeah, well, he tells me that uh, he's selling his stuff at, uh, at a bargain. <laughs> but he can't sell it on the street because the Commercium is gonna... Well, he's gonna find him or kill him or whatever. Or worse. Um, so he wants me to accompany him to a house nearby. And apparently my streetwise saved me that time. I didn't, I didn't, it didn't save Cato before, but he, his, his wits saved him. My wits, I should say. Well, sounds like a good deal. Maybe even a little bit too good to be true. One man's misfortune is another man's fortune, is it not? The commercium's way of doing business are hardly unheard of. However, if you're having doubts and more, co and more comfortable paying double at the market, who am I to argue with you? Okay, so some other time maybe, I'm gonna try and chat with you and see if you can steal. Yes, some other time maybe, and let me save the game, because that's an important thing to do in, in the Age of Decadence, if you're not aware. Okay, let's go and take a look, now that I'm a little bit better at, at fighting. Yeah, I see daggers, I see axes. You follow Milicia, it's to his house. The servants greet you at the door and let you in. They are well armed and armored. But these are dangerous times. You never know whom you can trust these days. The room is empty. You turn around to ask Milicheds where his merchandise is when his servants draw weapons and attack without saying a word. I can run, and I'm sure I will succeed because I'm pretty dexterous. Uh, but let's fight. Okay, so who's gonna be the first one to attack? It's gonna be me. That's a good thing. Unfortunately, the chance to hit is pretty terrible. So let's look. We got piercing barb. Oh, I can reload. Mm. No ammo! Damn it. Okay, so I need to reload. That is kind of a terrible thing right there and then. Let's reload then, but not <laughs> the weapon. Let's reload the game. Uh, yeah, okay, so... I just wanted to see that content. Let's reload with piercing. Hello, let me go. Yes, yes. Let's take a look and let's die, I suppose. Let's fight. So, I need... Uh, I need... I need these guys to die. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so he's... I mean, could I attack the head? Let's see. Push, burst, burst? I can go with a burst? Oh yes, I want to go with a burst. 60% chance to hit. Oh yes. Oh yes. Hit him three times for... Oh, a mere... That is not good. That is not That is not good enough. I am sorry. Hmm. Let's play around with combat for right now. Because like, I have I have skills. Uh, I have skill points, I should say. Let's, uh, let's do that. So... 
I want to go with barbed this time around, I suppose. Make it a little bit more interesting. Let's go with crossbow. Increase that a little bit uh, to five. Should I? Should I? Should I do that? Should I do that? Uh, I, I'm kind of. It's not a thing that I think I want to do really. I uh, maybe dodge. Maybe let's go with dodge. Yeah, four dodge right here should help me fight these guys um, because the uh, attacks of opportunity are real pain in the ass so I'm just trying to fight and see if I have a chance because okay so 50% chance to hit I am aware of that I can aim at the head 25% chance to hit but then again they are not armored at the head so with a barbed shot at the head that would be that would be a lot of damage wouldn't it let's hope that it works it doesn't okay I can attack again okay it doesn't I can attack again it does not okay Let's, uh, I can run all this distance? Can I attack again? No, I can't. Okay. So I can go there? No, I can't. Okay. So this guy has missed me because my dodge is pretty nice. This guy has not missed me because my dodge is not good enough. Uh, so I can move, uh, but I probably should push. Let's see what I can do. 50%. There it is. That's what I wanted. Uh, aim at the head. Let's hope that it works. It does not. Damn it. Come on, game. Come on, game. 25% chance to hit. You can do it. I just want to see if that works. Well, can I push again? 2 AP. Let's push this guy again. As well, I mean. Okay. I should have moved. Okay. Doesn't matter. 4 damage. That is terrible. 18 damage. 10 damage. Okay. So I can push this guy. Let's... I just... Come on. I just... I just want to see if that works. What? You can attack? No ammunition? Jesus. Uh, barbed. Yeah. Reload. Okay, I'm at the head and hope that it works. And it did not. Okay. So, I guess that's that. This is not gonna go well for me. Let's hope that it does, though. I'm still gonna f I'm gonna fight to the death. Because I wanna s I really wanna see a shot to the head on that guy. Um, let's hope that it... 25% chance... Come on, game! You can do it! I mean, come on, really? Well, if I die, I die, but I can always run away. Not sure how that is gonna work. There we, there we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. So, it's that. Oh boy! Come on, really? Yeah, I guess I've been lucky before. I guess I have been lucky before. Let's aim for the head. <laughs> oh boy! Come on, game. I can push this guy as well. So let's do that. There you go. I mean, my dodge is fine. I can. I mean, I mean, I haven't died yet, so that's pretty good. Uh, but uh, the problem is, I'm spending so many arrows, and I don't have ammo. And I just loaded regular, and I miss. Okay, that's gonna be my death, most likely. There it is. Well, then strike knocks you down. You try to get up, but die. Deals are that are too good to be true usually aren't. Nevertheless, deep down inside he wanted to believe. People get lucky all the time and get something for nothing. Why couldn't you be the one of them? Yeah, in the Age of Decadence? Mm, not sure that that's how it works, Klepta. Not sure that that's how it works. The way you saw it, the universe owed you and it was about time it, it paid you with interest. So instead of doing the smart thing, you followed the traitor like a lamb to its slaughter and got yourself killed over what little you had. The universe remained indifferent. Of course it did. Let's, uh, yeah. That's, I guess there could be a way, I probably need, I probably need more bow. So that's a lesson that I learned. I need to be better at bow. And, uh, I mean, let's see. Yeah, I, I didn't spend. So let's, let's do that with the, uh, dexterity check. Let's run. You bolt for the door the moment the men start reaching for the weapons and manage to escape before they can do anything to stop you. Did we gain experience? We did not. Okay. Well, that was the door, I suppose. No, that was not the door. Was this the door? I don't know. I don't know, but I guess we learned a lesson. Should he, should he do that, though? Should I do that? Let's not do that. Let's come back when I'm a little bit better. How about that? Is that a thing that, that, that works for you guys? Yeah, we're gonna take revenge. Oh, yes, we are. The universe is gonna pay us with interest as well. Okay, so let's go to the inn, because there's gonna be a guy there that I want to kill. And hopefully that guy is gonna be a little bit better, <laughs> a little bit easier. Uh, these guys don't sell. He just insults my, my clothing. I don't, want, I don't want anything to do with him. Let's go in there. 
And, uh, did I save the game? I did. Okay, there we go. So let's go in there. The inn is full of guests, as it usually is. So Cassius is over there. We got a, story a storyteller over here. I've already read his story. I can stay a while. You guys can go ahead and pause the video if you're interested. Uh, it's quite an interesting story about about the ancient ways and the uh, and, and how, how the world war war uh, got got uh, started. Uh, did you believe? Do you believe? But surely, so yes. So how? Yeah. That's pretty much it, how it is. So <laughs> I just wanted to see if there was anything different this time around. So let me save here. And let's have a chat with Cassius over here. 42-year-old Lore Master Cassius, contemptuously called Young Cassius, is now about to die. Let's uh, take him, not, not take him to Lord Antis. Let's lure him to an abandoned house here. Cassius looks around in confusion. Well, you've made a mistake coming here. If you want to leave, leave now and never come back. That's gonna fail. Okay, it didn't fail, but then again, he might... Yeah, when he leaves... Okay, yeah. Perception success. Good, good, good. Yeah, when he leaves, he just... He doesn't want... So let's go... He doesn't really want to leave. So let's go with critical strike and see if we can kill him. If we cannot, I'll reload the game and, and improve that skill. I can. Your strike is fast and lethal. One moment, Cassius is standing next to you. The next, he's down. Clutching the wound and looking as if he doesn't understand what just happened. Regardless, he's dead in less than a minute. Search his body. There you go. See, that's why I picked critical strike. Very, very nice. Let's let's just take all. Take all. Yeah, yeah. Everything. So he's naked now. No, not but naked, but still naked. <laughs> I guess that's considered naked, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that it is. Uh, so now we can go back to well, Master Fang and tell him. Actually, let's use a teleport because why the hell not? And tell him that Cassius is done for. Hmm. Do I remember? Was there a guy here before when I was a lower master? Or is this lower master that I was before? I don't think though. I don't think so. Hmm. Anyway. Now what? I should be charging per visit, you know? But I'm way too kind and people take advantage of me all the time. What do you want, Klepta? Make it quick. Okay, well, um... Have you heard about Ibdadad al-Sarabi? Because that's the guy I heard with the uh, lore... The tail... Tail tailor or tail... Tail tailor, whatever. In the hidden. Who hasn't? Storytellers compete with each other over inventing new tales every year. Ibd Adad was a magus, and not just any magus, but the first of their lot, which means that anything goes. No tale is too fanciful, apparently. Yeah, I've already also heard about that. So, yeah, Cassius is no longer a problem. So young, Cassius is gone and will bother us no more. Good riddance, I say. Such a pompous ass that boy was. Well, I owe you a lot more than uh, what I paid you. You must forgive an old man his habits, and I'd like you to have this. Feng carefully unwraps a small bundle and gives you a ring. It's a heavy silver ring covered in softly glowing runes. While the metal feels cold to touch, the glowing runes burn your fingers. It's the, mag it's the famous magic ring of General Galbo. The ring was crafted by the Council of Magic to grant the General special powers which made him unstoppable in battle. Uh, I think I know what this is for. I think I read online about what this is for. I think this ring... Mm, I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys. If you know what it is for, well, good for you. Because I'm not so sure. Uh, and if you don't, well, stick stick to stick with me and you'll if you, if you'll find out i suppose we'll see uh yeah so i've read that one uh what powers does the ring have evidently it makes people stupid <laughs> yeah well uh so he wants me so you've decided uh, yeah he, he wants me to offer it to lord antius and uh, count me in i suppose very well then so where are you from fang the heavenly kingdom of zin where else that's to the east i think I'm pretty sure that's to the east. Why do you come here? Ow. Oh, anger flares in Feng's eyes, but he manages to control himself. I got this charisma success the other the, the other playthrough. Uh, but yeah, Zin is, Zin is civilized. They don't embarrass the old families by killing their offspring or sending them to rot in the dungeons. They just exile them. <laughs> uh, yeah, what happened next? So yeah, I just he just came here and started his life. I think I've heard a story about previous lore master getting miraculously sick. Yeah, most unfortunate. <laughs> who, was you, who was your master in Madaran? Master Enarium. Do we remember this guy? Master Enarium. He was a foreigner like me. He took me in, taught me how to work with artifacts, how to read people. He had a nose for artifacts. It's like he knew where to look. He even dared to venture inside the abyss. Yeah, I want to go there. I want to go there. And he's going to give me a mission, isn't he? 
I think he is. You've never heard of the Abyss? They say that during the war, the Kantari Magi had cast a spell so horrible it took a bite out of the city, vaporizing the en an entire district. You can still see the crater and the ruins, but if you get close enough, the magic will turn your guts inside out. They say the very laws of nature have twisted, which is why nothing grows or lives there. So, uh, he isn't the only one, okay? So why did he kill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, his name is Narion? Yeah, okay. So... Uh, that's just a tip for that mission. Your trading has increased. Oh, that's also very good. And my persuasion has increased as well. That's pretty awesome. You gain a new insight into the liberal arts and trades, which can be for non-combat skills. Five skill points. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Master Fang. I am sorry for trying to rob you. I didn't rob you, though. I can't rob you, I don't think. I mean, can I? Is that a thing that I can do? Hmm. I guess we'll never know. Yes, we'll never know. So, for now, let's look at the quests that I have. I have Gobble's Ring. I need to offer it to Lord Antidus. We'll see how that goes. And we need to take care of business for Cato. Uh, I need to ask him for work. I probably will go there right now before I go to Lord Antidus. We also have the map we need, which you need to take to Lord Antidus. And we have the Mysteries of the Abyss. I can't wait to get a little bit better at this, at this crossbow and... and and stealing thing because I really wanna I really wanna find things as a thief. But we'll see. I I don't know how the how the quest line is, so we'll see where the quest line takes me. I, I'm reticent to to uh, take on skills this early in the game because I really wanna save the skill points if I can. Let me save the game here. Let's see. What is it, Klepta? Well, do you have anything for me? Sure. Remember that ore shipment we lifted last week? must disappear tonight. Too many questions are being asked by people I've never seen before. People I've never seen before have made the arrangements with our friends in Madaran. Make sure the guards at the gate will look the other way. Sure, I guess. Oh, this is the same quest? This is the same quest that... It's related to the quest that, that the Commercium gives me, I'm pretty sure. Because the guards... So, hmm, the guards need to be corrupted. And I'm gonna corrupt them very, very well and thoroughly. That's what I'm gonna do. So let's go here. Actually, there's gonna be guys here. Did I get Did I get enough money? I uh, do have enough money. That's good. Okay, so I don't know how, what I'm gonna do. But let's have a chat here with these guys outside. Because, no, they're not here. Are they? There they are. You see a group of road-weary travelers trying to enter Terran. You have to pay a levy to enter, says one of the guards. We don't have any money. Our village was attacked. The raiders took everything. Those are our times, agrees the guard lazily, but we aren't running a charity here, and we have weird voices, so shut up. Please, show mercy, show mercy. No, okay, so what's going on? <laughs> Refugees, fucking freeloaders, they think they are entitled to what we've built here, like we need more beggars and thieves. Yeah, well, how much do they need to pay? 30 Imperials per head. There are five of them, so that's 150 Imperials. Yeah, that's why I looked at my money before. Uh, so let's see. Uh, I need, I could go with that. Let's talk to the refugees first, though. Please help us. I'll pay you back, I promise. I'm a smith. Look. Um, I, I'm not sure I believe you, but I, somebody said in the comments that I should have believed them. So let's believe them this time around, because we didn't before, so I guess we can, we can do it li right now. Um, oh, actually, wait, tenfold? Since the entrance levy is 150 Imperials, I want you to pay me 50, 1500 Imperials when you settle in. The man looks at his family's size and says, yes. 1,500 Imperials if you you pay the levy for us. I'm not sure that's gonna... 1,500 Imperials is a lot of money. They are not gonna... No, this is not gonna work. No, I'm not... Uh, well, let's pay the entrance levy, I suppose. I'm in your debt, stranger. But I swear that it will be repaid. My name is Amolus. Look for me at the Market Square. Okay. I hope that I can trust you. Not sure if I ask too much of you, though. Nah. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna talk with the guards for right now, because I need to corrupt them. Uh, let's corrupt them sometime later. That's epi next episode, maybe. Let's just explore this shanty down here. That's gonna be the Nay Raider is gonna say something as we enter, I think. Uh, but I want to deal with this guy. I Do I have money to pay the kebab? I have eight Imperials. That should be enough. One Imperial should be more than enough to pay a kebab, right? Because it's a gold coin. I mean, really? Yeah, it's a small shanty town. There's a guy somewhere around here that sells poison or deals with poison or whatever. I don't know where it is. Uh, he's, he's not here right now because that's the reason why I was so lost when when I first needed to see him because he's not here. Uh, but uh, right now, I mean. Uh, so let's have a chat. Oh, is it? Hello. Oh, you just okay. <laughs> let's have a chat over with here uh, with the kebab seller 
and save the game before I do that. Hello? Can I, can't I talk to you? What's going on? Why? Don't I have money? Is that because, is it because I don't have money? Is it, is it because I'm a thief? Maybe it's because I'm a thief. Huh, interesting. Oh, it might be. That's quite an interesting turn of events. Huh, that's pretty interesting. Well, let's have a chat here with these guards then and see what I can do about their corruption. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure, I, I don't have money to pay them, so that's kind of a problem. You strike up a conversation with the direct and guards watching the gate. There isn't a lot of traffic these days, so the guards are bored and take full advantage of the opportunity to talk your ear off. So, um, yeah, they cut your pay, huh? Necessary measures, they say. Uh, yeah, well, I can't believe that guards who risk their lives to protect us all are underpaid. The guards enthusiastically agrees. Persuasion and streetwise. Could I pass this shack? I'm not sure. Let's see. You know what? I have a shipment leaving Terran in a few days. Instead of paying tax to the Commercium, I'll pay directly to you. I think it's only fair. Ten Imperials each? No, that's too much money. That's too much money. But they agree, though. Twenty-five each is all I can... Oh, they, they don't agree, though. Yeah, they want fifty coins each. No way. I can't afford... I can't afford that. Shut up. Clapta, shut up. Oh, didn't we just hear you say that underpaying guard is a crime? Yeah, I need, I need trading for that. All right, all right, I'll be back with the money. Ugh, I guess I'll have to earn <laughs> the money or steal it. Can I steal it? I hope I can. I'll look around. I'll look, look around and see if I can steal money from people around here. But before that, I'm gonna cut the episode here, and hopefully you'll join me for the next one. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been the Age of Decadence. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.